I did a video the other day talking about all the mushrooms growing, but all the rain we've had. Daddy, that's the old on a new wall. Look at all those mushrooms. I want to see the mushrooms. <gasps> what the heck? Mushrooms! How did they even grow over here? <laughs> so, our avocados are getting bigger. Of course, a few. They kind of self-prune in the container, so who knows if we'll have even a single avocado left, you know, by the time they will get big enough to ripen, but right now there's probably like 20 or 30 different sizes, tiny ones, you know, that one is already broke off the stem, had a bad windstorm too last night. So I recently acquired a black Suriname cherry as well here. Pretty nice size, probably like a three gallon, two and a half foot. Two more pineapple guavas. Two may hop, uh, may pops. <clears throat> that garbage out of the way. Passion flower, passion fruit. You know, I come out here to pick some blackberries, or dewberries, I should say. <clears throat> it looks like the rains came too late. You know, most of the uh, the immature fruits just dried up and just didn't get enough rain. Even though there are plants everywhere, there's like little dried up, uh, really small uh, um, dewberries. And there might be a few that still come out, you know. I see a couple small red ones, but most of them have turned like brown or something and dried up from what I can see. So it's pretty, you know, we got another area that's where the ground is going to be a little more moist, where we might get a little bit more. But I think for the most part, we're done picking dewberries now. <clears throat> so today I picked up several more plants. I've got a yellow catley guava, two red catley guavas or strawberry guavas. I think the yellow is called lemon guava sometime. I think the lemon guava is a little less cold hardy and the uh, strawberry guavas are a little more cold hardy. And we got a Sixth Street mulberry tree. And last but not least, a small cherry of Rio Grande. 